Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. Every now and then, Trevor and I would have a disagreement, a small disagreement, something wasn't even registering with me, minor disagreement. And he would be able to flip from me being bearable to being absolutely hated. He could flip just like that from having a somewhat normal day to utter rage and hatred. It always confused me how he could switch from alleged love to hatred like that. And I want to talk about that today. Okay, for example, we'd be sitting in the living room, we'd be talking about building planter boxes for the garden. For example, uh, he would say we need X amount of feet of wood, and that's going to cost X amount of dollars. And I would say, okay, and what are we going to need for, you know, cubic feet of soil? And I'd come up with a number, and he'd say, I'm an idiot. And I'd say, why do you have to talk to me like that? And the shit show would be on. Now, of course, we're many years into the relationship. We live together. And then he would blurt out, you see, you see why I can't live with you? Uh, by the way, he did live with me. I hate you. You're so stupid. You're always starting fights. This is why I hate your fucking guts. And of course, he would escalate very quickly, maybe launch into a silent treatment or stomping around the house or following me around the house, calling me names, belittling me, degrading me, just horrendous. And of course, I would get quite silent. I would just go do something else, let some time pass. An hour later, I'd walk into the room and I'd say, hey, bud, you want to watch a movie? Which would then cause him to jump up, start screaming, you see, you see how crazy you are? You're bipolar. You can't just flip the switch on and off like that. This is why I hate your fucking guts. Now, of course, as a human being, a daughter, a parent, a friend, a co-worker, you know, most of my life, certainly I come to realize that you could not see 100% eye to eye with someone and still care about them, still love them, still respect them, still want to nurture and foster the relationship, still want to be in the relationship, but not with the narcissist. And he would continue, do you see how bipolar you are? You're crazy. You're fucked in the head. You need medication. You can't just flip the switch like that. This is proof that you're crazy. You're flipping and flipping and flipping the switch. I can't keep up with it. Now, very clearly, a switch had been flipped. I mean, most definitely something flipped. Um, I could never understand how I was being accused of flipping the switch because, of course, in my mind, you don't have to see 100% eye to eye with someone to respect their opinion, to just kind of let it rush over you like it was nothing because it was nothing. But no, not with the narc. Honest to God, I'd never seen anything like this. And this was a constant reoccurrence. This is why I cheat on you. This is why I can't stand you. This is why I'll never live with you. Holy shit, we lived together almost five years. This is why I'll never trust you. You just flip the switch, flip the switch. Oh my God. Now, of course, I'd be standing there staring at him thinking, is this guy fucking kidding me? I mean, seriously, what the fuck is happening here? I found myself in a constant state of what the fuck is happening here. Sometimes it would go on for hours and sometimes it would go on for days. Sometimes it would result in me having to pack up some things and fleeing, listening to this relentless bombardment of, you're so stupid. This is why I hate you. This is why nobody likes you. Who could like you? You're constantly changing the game, constantly flipping the switch. Sadly, a narcissist, psychopath, any of the cluster Bs really, are unable to reason. They're unable to see the gray space in life. It's either black or it's white. So if you're in favor, you're in favor, which means ultimately they're sucking the soul right through your bloody nose, draining you of all your life force. 
But if for any reason, the slightest reason, you fall out of favor, it's now full on. Absolute death fight to the end. They hate you. Fucking hate you. Want you dead. Nothing, nothing about the good times is remembered. Nothing about anything you've ever done for them is lingering in their empty skulls. It's full on hatred. It could be something big. It could be something small. It could be something so microscopic it didn't even register with you. The worst part about this for me is when I was verbally assaulted like that, maybe from long term abuse. I would immediately feel responsible. I would immediately start to question myself. I'd immediately think, God, why did I say that? What's going on with me? And I would start to go into hyperdrive to please him, hyperdrive to prove that I wasn't crazy, that I wasn't bipolar, that I wasn't flipping any switches, that I deserved his love. And it would just start cycling and spinning and out of control I would go, forgetting about all of my needs, no boundaries, just trying desperately to prove to him that I was worthy of his love. It's so hard to see it when you're in it. Now gone for a year, free, happy, enjoying my life. Um, you look back and you wonder, how? How could I have fallen for that? It's bad enough that he did that, but for me to have reacted in such a way that I assumed all the responsibility and literally went flying at trying to please him, scrambling my mind scattered, just desperate to make the abuse stop, to once again be in favor. For me, it's really, really soul crushing to go from believing someone that you love loves you in the blink of an eye being the object of their hatred, the object of their disgust, someone so unworthy of even being in their presence. It was, uh, you know what it was. And if you're still in it, I hope you're starting to see what it is. The narcissist creates such a gravely toxic environment, so toxic you can barely breathe in it. I was absolutely frantic, scrambled, desperate most of the time. The reality is this, true love, real love with a human being can withstand a tornado, a hurricane. It can move a mountain. When love stops and turns so quickly to hatred because you don't understand how many cubic square feet are required in a planter box, Damn, you got a problem. Real love doesn't turn to hatred by flipping a switch. The best thing that ever came of the five-year relationship with Trevor is that I ended it. I committed the final act of abuse against him and I executed the final discard. I left. I went no contact. I've never looked back and I have been grateful every single moment I've been away from that turd. If you feel like you're missing your narc today, give it a minute. Honestly, the day is going to come and probably not too far off as you continue to educate yourself and unite with fellow victims that you're going to realize Captain Pile of Steaming Shit is just that. I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. I hope you guys are having a great narc-free day.